Gary Atencio with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I am here with Maria V. Online. Basically, Maria, been designing for many years. Now you're designing social media strategies that basically work for people out there. What got you involved in this industry? I think when they, um, having come from the interior design industry and so much downsizing going on, I wanted a way to still be creative um, and still use my creativity, but to help small businesses. Um, I've done some independent design and know how it is to get started and how difficult it is to get your name out there. And I was really fascinated with the social media side of it because, as you know, we are online every day, all day. And I thought, how can I merge my two, you know, the two industries together and, and make a business out of it? Wonderful. Speaking of making a business out of it, why social media? People out there, they see the value of it, but you know what? It really doesn't happen all by itself, does it? No, it doesn't. And I think this is such an exciting time because it is just now getting to the forefront. Um, if you look at the statistics, there's 750 million plus people on Facebook every single day. 80% um, of businesses now have a Facebook page, but they don't know how to use it. So you, it, it just goes to show they're starting and they see the value of it, but I think they don't know where to go from there. Wonderful. Speaking of don't know where to go, you're a small business out there. You know it's something you should do. Is social media a great leverage tool for them? I mean, it used to be back in the day, 20 years ago, when you got into business, you know, you'd let your fingers do the walking, and now we don't even know what that book looks like. So tell me about the leverage for small company. Okay, exactly. Um, bringing up the yellow pages, um, the, traditional marketing doesn't work any longer. People don't pick up the phone book. They don't pick up a newspaper. They are online. And if you can hit a fraction of that 700 million, million sure. for your business, even one, two percent. That's a huge amount of exposure for your business. Um, just to get your name out there, your brand recognized. It's a way for you to interact with current customers, but also get referrals for new customers. It's a way to um, make your current customers happy and let them know that you're excited that they are a customer, that you're thankful that they're a customer, and you know, helping to get them to interact with you um, and get that brand identity out there. Anymore, we just can't look at an ad. We really have to engage with our people out there, and that's what it is. I mean, Facebook is a big one everybody knows about, but what other what other aspects do you have out there as far as social media? Okay, the the I would say the big five are Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, there's a couple of other um, lesser known like Tumblr, Dig, Reddit. Um, but if you start with two or three of those sites, I think you'd be pretty good. One of the mistakes I think people make is they try to jump into every site that they've heard about. And what we um, advocate is really starting out with one or two. Get really good at it. Get your name out there um, and go from there if you see the need for something else. I know a lot of the companies out there have some, some things in place already and then they bring you along to take over. Just do it all. Before we jump into that, let's talk about the customizing piece milling. Like you said, taking it step by step. Um, blogs. Why are those so important? Blogs are um, extremely important in that it sets you up as the expert in your industry. You want to give your customers value. You don't want to put a blog out there or it, you don't want it to be like a daily journal where you're just talking about your, your social life. You want to give them value. You want to set yourself up as an expert in your industry with um, you know, valuable content, talking about the industry, the latest news, maybe the latest legislation that affects your industry. Um, maybe you have new products coming out and you want to use social media as a launching pad. So um, anytime you can give your customers value, um, it sets yourself up as being the expert, and that's what um, blogs really should you know, be used for. And speaking of blogs, there's a right way to do them and a wrong way, and you've touched on a few areas there, but what about some of the words you use in those blogs so that the search engines love you? Okay, same thing with your social media sites and your web blogs. You want to use those keywords and there's um, some programs out there Google has a program where you can test your keywords if you're talking about social media you want to make sure that the word social media are in there if you are targeting um, small businesses make sure that small businesses in there you want to do what you call keyword rich content not just in your blog but on your website on your Facebook page on your Google Plus site on your LinkedIn um, network um, wherever you can get those targeted keywords in there will help boost you to the top of that search engine. Wonderful. So let me ask you, a lot of places that people start out with is that first social profile page. How important is your social profile nowadays and your online reputation? 
I think it's very important, and I also think that it's important that you um, make sure that you're branding yourself. You want your website, your profile pages to be cohesive so that, you know, somebody hands you a business card, they're like, oh, I recognize that from online. Or they have your business card and they go to your web page, and it's all very cohesive and it's all branding. So you want to take that into account before you just jump out there and put your picture with your name out there, I think. Wonderful. And so somebody out there who's starting out and they basically want to start building, they can kind of piecemeal and you sit down with them, have a consultation, decide what their needs are. But let's say somebody already has it all set up out there and now they want you to do it all. Do you offer that as well? We do. And one of the first things that we like to do is actually do an evaluation. What do you have out there? What's working? What's not working? And let me um, look at why it's not working or maybe give you some suggestions on how to make it better. And maybe you've got five or six sites out there. Well, maybe we want to cut that back to two or three and really focus on those two or three and do them really, really well and then add a third or a fourth site. What is your involvement with Maximize Social Media? Is that what you work with as well? Maximize Social Media is um, a company that I've also partnered with. Um, they are a nationwide company. Um, and through them, I'm actually able to do what we call the done for you package. Um, larger companies that, um, you know, are regional or maybe national companies that don't have anyone in house to do it and they want it done for them, basically. They want the site set up, the ads set up, um, they want the daily postings done, the um, analytics given to them. Um, so it's a kind of a turnkey package, so to speak. Wonderful, which is great. Going back to those startups out there and they're trying to leverage their dollar out there, try to get their their name out there. Um, you're also able to take their, their fan book page and give them a landing page, give them all kinds of ways to engage their customers. Is that correct? Yes. Um, probably one of the most important things is finding ways to engage the customers. Um, if you have, um, you see it all the time, you go to a Facebook page and it says click like and get this free ebook or get this coupon. And it's a great way to not only um, engage the fans and to build your fan base, but to make them feel like they um, are liking you for a reason. Wonderful. Folks, if you notice on the bottom of the screen right there is her website where you can actually go there and get her contact information. And it all begins with a consultation. It begins with basically an evaluation of what is out there, first of all, and she can help you decide what it is you may need. Let me ask you, Maria, are there any specials out there that you're running? There are, Gary. Um, on my website and my Facebook page, I'm giving away a free ebook. I'm also offering free evaluation and strategy sessions right now. And if they'll check back on my website periodically, I'll be updating those and changing them as we go along. Wonderful. Someone out there that has seen some social media and they love going to a page that engages them, makes them do things, and they want to have that same experience possibly for their clients, what would you tell them out there and how would they begin? Um, I think that's really a, a great idea is go and look at the pages and, and try to decide what is it about that page that you like. And then whether you try to do it yourself or whether you go through me, um, have that in mind so that you know, I like the way this page works. I like the way this ad looks. I like this giveaway. Um, and then try to duplicate it. It's okay to duplicate it. You're just going to brand it as your own. Wonderful. And we've talked about uh, the starting point is basically deciding what pieces of the puzzle you want to put together or have you do the whole thing. But obviously, the monthly maintenance is something you can do as well. Yes, sir. We can we can do just set up. We can do a small amount of maintenance. We can do um, training and coaching their staff if they have someone on um, on their staff that they want to turn it over to. I can train them on how to do it, kind of give them suggestions on what to post, when to post, how to use the different sites. Or we can do, like I mentioned earlier, the done for you where we do every bit of it and then, you know, report back to them weekly or monthly. Wonderful, folks. Once again, their contact information at the bottom of the screen right there. And remember, it does begin with a consultation, a media evaluation to find out what is out there on the web and what type of social media you can possibly use, be it uh, YouTube, be it Twitter, Facebook. There's many, many out there to but she recommends starting with just a couple, and she will take you by the hand. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.